when you're doing real science, not just institutional science, the most exciting thing is to figure out what happens next. There is always a much bigger vision behind this. You're standing on the shoulders of giants to see if there is something new that is hiding around the corner. Like, can you figure out a way so you can understand the world, the universe, in a way that no human being before you has been able to do? I'm just calling uh, to challenge you to a game of, uh, of quantum chess. So that's what I love also about games. And so it's not about like winning right away or realizing that, yeah, I'm smart, I figure it out. Somehow your love for figuring out what's next overshadows the frustration of failing again and again until you get there. Scientists are gamers, they are human beings, but they're crazy enough to want to understand the world in a way that no other human being has been able to do so. And we haven't even gotten to 1% of what is possible to explore.